Covering St. John's County, city leaders in St. Augustine are moving quickly to try to protect the nation's oldest city from a looming threat. Frequent flooding. Channel 4's Ethan Calloway is live in downtown St. Augustine with details on the plans being put into place. Ethan. Mary Tom, this area got hit really hard. We all know this by Hurricane Matthew. Some of these buildings behind me saw several feet of water in them, in fact. But it's not just hurricanes they're worried about here. It's flooding of all kinds, and they say they need to move quickly. We weren't really sure what to expect. We'd sandbagged the building pretty well. We just weren't expecting the water to literally come through the walls as opposed to the doors. Christopher Clark works in an office built in the 1700s. He says the building got about a foot of water inside during Hurricane Matthew. Many of his neighbors got several feet more. We obviously have had nuisance flooding for a very long time, and if anything raised everyone's awareness, it was Hurricane Matthew, and we had a seven and a half foot storm surge. The street we're standing on was a river. That water extended from the bayfront all the way to US 1. Mayor Nancy Shaver says a recent study found sea levels around St. Augustine could rise as much as a foot in the next 20 years and up to three feet in 40 years. Many historic landmarks like the campus of Flagler College could be threatened and the city already says they need to move their wastewater treatment plant from its current location. That would come with a price tag of more than $100 million, says Shaver, double the city's annual budget. The solution is money. I mean, it, I'm saying that very, and a lot of money. What we're doing is we have a very specific plan. We understand what our vulnerabilities are. Now, the city says it is planning to use some federal funding from Matthew to build things like pump stations, but Shaver says much more is needed to protect this city. We're live in St. Augustine, Ethan Calloway, Channel 4, The Local Station.